Hi there, I'm John from Castle Kingdom and I'm your go-to guide for all things Bouncy Castle and Marquee related. And on this channel we will cover everything from Bouncy Castle and Marquee setups to tips, tricks and tutorials and everything related to the party rental industry. Okay, in this, in this video we're going to be covering damages to your electrical cables. Uh, now this I mean uh, some of them could just be damaged, you could have got a little tear, they could have been caught in a door or some of the wires just been pulled out. Now the best way to check one of these is with a multimeter and with a multimeter we'll be checking for continuity. Now continuity is the, the test you put through a cable with, a, with the probes on the multimeter held at both ends. So you put the probe on the one end of it and on the other and if there's a flow or you get a reading of zero that means the power is going through the multimeter and you've got a, a good cable without any breaks in it. Now we'll be demonstrating this, you can also do it with fuses, so if your cable doesn't work it could be the fuse, you could put the probes from the multimeter on each end uh, and check if there's continuity running through the cable. Now multimeters come with a multi <laughs> a multitude of settings, that made me laugh that, but the only one we're really interested in is the ohm setting and it's by that symbol there you can see. This is the one that's going to give you the, the continuity uh, and it's the only one really we're going to be dealing with. They do a lot of other things but for this purposes of this tutorial that is the one we'll be concentrating on. First thing to do is to get your extension lead up on your workbench or wherever you're going to be working on it. And we need to take it apart. A couple of little covers on these and the first thing you want to do, you can see that, is put it together and you should get a zero reading or near enough which you have. Take it off, you've got one, you've got zero. Now that means that's continuity between the two cables, the two wires, running through the machine. Now you can do this while these uh, covers are still on them, uh, but I think it's better to take them off so you can identify the correct one. Now you could, as I say, just put them in here. We can give a demonstration. That one at the top is always the earth cable. So you could put one in there. The cover there should hold that in place. And the bigger pin on that side is also the earth. So. We can just touch that and we'll see if we get a reading, which we're not getting for some reason. You can do it this way, but I would rather take them off and check them. So for that, all you need is a couple of uh, screwdrivers. So you've got your Phillips head and your flat head. You're going to need your flat head on this. Now you've got a little uh, metal clip on this. So all you need to do is press that down with your screwdriver while you're twisting. Once you get it pressed down, give it a twist like that and out it comes. And that's all there is to it. And then you've got your, your wires exposed, you've got your brown live, your blue neutral, and your green, which is the earth cable. Now on this end, uh, you've got the same. Uh, these are screwing ones, so you need your Phillips head one, that's a flat head. Just undo these. Nice easy job. There are two types of these you can get. You can get these ones here that are that will clip out like that. I prefer these ones actually with the screw, I think they're better. They're the ones I generally use. Uh, well, I use both of them really, but I, I, I prefer these ones. It holds the, it's got a cable grip inside it which holds it better. This one doesn't have a grip so it, like, as I was saying if these fail for any reason it could be that they're pulled, uh, they've caught in a door and it's pulled a wire out. Now these ones you've got a cable grip in them uh, as you can see so if you pull that it's connected to the actual casing so it won't pull those wires, they're, they're gripped in there. Now we've got our two ends again, now we can see the two wires now this time. Right so we'll start off with one of these, now that is a bit tricky to get, get a grip of them. Now that's our uh, the green wire there, that is our earth, so we'll put a connection on the earth, we know this one's okay because we just checked it, but we'll put it on there again, and the same one here. Now it's a bit fiddly trying to hold these and uh, test them at the same time, but there are little screws on them as well, so you can just put it onto the actual connector there, that's the earth one, and we've got a reading there. So that's what we just did earlier, but this is with the, the wires exposed. So then we can go on to the next one, which is the blue one. You can just use the actual screw terminals on these uh, to put your connection on. That'll be the same thing. There you go, 001, that's good enough. You won't get it 100% on a lot of them because you're just holding the screw and it's sort of moving around and so on. But as long as it's sort of pretty much near zero, which it is there, then that's fine. Then the last one, we'll do the, the live wire, which is the brown one. We'll turn that round. Then we've got a zero reading. So all those three wires are in good condition. So that, that cable's good, good to go. Now, as I say, you could just plug this in and, and plug it and turn the blower on if it works and obviously the cable's okay. If it doesn't, you know there's a problem. But this will 
identify in a lot of other problems and it's quite easy to do uh, so if you've got your crosswise if you've wired it up wrong then you wouldn't get a reading as well so if you put it onto the uh, brown wire your live one and then onto your blue you've got a one zero if you put it onto the brown which is where it should be you get a reading and that's the same with all of them so you could swap them around on your neutral live neutral to live that's crossing the wires so neutral to neutral you get the zero reading so that's it and then that works pretty much the same with a fuse so you could put a, if you've got a fuse and you're not sure if it's blown or not you can just put these two ends onto the fuse each end like that and if you get that reading that means it's uh, the fuse is good it's got a connection going across from one end to the other if it's broken you'll just get that that one sign there and it wouldn't work so that's it it's a pretty simple thing to do with a multimeter uh, very effective and very good and as i say you can buy these really cheaply many places do them um, i've had this quite a number of years really it just needs a battery in it there's probably better there's a lot better ones than that out there today but that's pretty much all you need and then all you do is just put it all back together again and on these cables you've got a little slot you just line it up like that's a little slot in there that'll keep that in place which will then line up the screws on here you just need your phillips head screwdriver that's it nice and tight as i say you've got that little uh, metal pin on there you just need to line that up turn it on and that will lock it in place and as I say, if you're taking these on and off, uh, it's quite good, it'll stop it coming apart. But you just need to hold it with one hand, the actual metal pin like that, press down on it and twist. And that'll bring it, bring it out like that. And that's it. Pretty good. So, that's how you wire up or you test uh, an electrical cable. Now, we use them all the time in the bouncy castle industry. Uh, that's the quickest and easiest way of testing them. Uh, you can do these with domestic plugs on the other end for a fly lead as well. You can check the fuses at the same time so the best practice from my experience is to uh, have spares in the van so if something does go wrong sometimes you may have two or three extension leads joined together i often do if it's a long run down the garden i may have two or three joined together one of them could fail so you've got to quickly identify which out of the three is at fault then you quickly whip that one out put it to a side put a new one on it get the job done bring that one back to base and then we do what we call maintenance monday or sometimes Tuesday, when we bring all the stuff back, put them on the workbench and test them. So that's it pretty much. It's quite a basic little uh, test and it's very effective. If you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching. Uh, you could like and subscribe. Um, if there's any other ones you want me to do, you can leave them in the comments below and I'll see if I can cover them. And if you found that one interesting, there's another one over there with a fly lead, which I also did. And I'll see you over there. Bye for now.